What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a door that closes but doesn't latch. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so we've got three doors in this property here that are closing but they're not latching. So hopefully by the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys all the information you need in order to get out there and fix the problem yourself. The absolute first thing you need to do is have a look at the latch and the strike plate. So this one here is the strike plate and you'll notice there's a hole inside, the latch needs to go into there in order to latch and secure properly. So just make sure that everything's nice and clear in here, there's no debris left inside or timber that's obstructing your way and just make sure that this one here is nice and clear. Once we've done that, we move over to the latch, close this door here up and what we want to do is make sure that our latch is coming out all the way. So we just need to make sure that it springs back and forward, everything's functioning as it should be. Once we've done that, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our latch, which is this section here, with our strike plate, making sure that it's actually lining up with the hole. So the easy way to do this is to take a pencil, which I'll find in a second. Okay, so we've got our pencil, we're gonna close up the door just slightly, and we're gonna mark up our latch position. So just mark that one there up. And this is now going to indicate for us exactly where our latch is going. So we can now open up the door, mark up our latch position, which in this case here, we've actually got some rub marks as well. So that's another good indicator. You can look for these rub marks here. But generally, if you don't have any rub marks, line up those markings all the way across and we can see here it's just going slightly a little bit too low and that's the reason why it's not going into this latch and causing this to not um, latch properly and secure. So now we know our door is sitting just a little bit too low what we can do is we can close it and try and lift up a little bit on the door and see if that'll latch which you just heard that click and now we know for certain that what's happening with this door here is it's just sitting a little bit too low. Now this one here is a new property, so that means we don't want to try and remove our latch position and try and chisel out a section and try and move it. What we want to do is make um, this as clean as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise the door slightly. So if we have a look, we've got our hinge up here on the top left, hinge down here on the bottom left, and what we're going to do is we're going to just adjust the door. So if we imagine the door is sitting straight like this, this is probably the best way to explain it. At the moment, the door is sitting on a little bit of a slope going top right, moving over to the um, side of the door. So what we need to do is we need to straighten that back up. The easiest way to do that is to either tighten up our hinges up here on the left. So if we tighten it, that's gonna straighten up our door. And if we can't tight, uh, tighten it that way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick out the bottom of the door um, coming into the center of the door. So my hand illustration I know is not the best, but it's the easiest way to get the concept. This is the door when it's straight. At the moment it's on an angle, so we need to either get the, this top left hand side back up by tightening up those hinges, or we can kick out the bottom, um, left, uh, bottom left hinge out to the center, and that'll also straighten it up. So if we have a look at this top left hinge first, we can see straight away there's one screw missing here which we're going to install one in a second but we also want to tighten up all these screws make sure there's nothing loose so to tighten that up you can use a drill or a um, screwdriver that's nice and tight once again nice and tight all our screws here are nice and tight so we're just going to quickly put in a spare screw here so we'll drive a screw up on this missing one. Okay, so now that one there is all good. What we're gonna do now instead is we're gonna focus on the bottom hinge. This is gonna be the least invasive way. You're not gonna have to try and chisel out um, our hinge section up on this top hinge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on this one here and we're simply gonna pack it out so that we bring this door out a little bit. Remembering my analogy, at the moment it's on a bit of a slope, top right is sloping over, we're going to kick out that bottom section and bring it out straight. A little trick that I've shown you guys in the past, but if you haven't seen it, doesn't matter, you're going to love this. What we're going to be using is just a piece of paper. So you can see here we've just got a regular A4 piece of paper, we're just going to be using this as a packer. Now this is the best way, you'll never know that there was ever any work done here. First thing we're going to do is just remove this screw. 
so that we can get access to the back of our hinge. And you can see here with this hinge, it's a loose pin hinge, so that means it comes off in two pieces. I'm just gonna quickly take this one here, use it as a chock, and that's gonna hold my door in position there for me. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our piece of paper. Now I'm just gonna quickly tear this one here in half because we should hopefully not need all of that. Fold it over a couple of times. The more you fold it over, the thicker the pack is gonna be. We're gonna try and get it roughly the same size. And this one here is now perfect. So now that we've got our packer ready or our piece of paper ready, what we're gonna do is get our screw ready to go. Remove our little chock here. And we're gonna place this piece of paper behind the hinge. Once that's ready, we can install our screw. Same thing on the bottom. So now we've got our hinge nicely installed. You'd never know there was any work ever done here. And all we did was just pack it out slightly using a piece of paper. Now we're gonna close the door, test it out. And that's exactly what we're after. You can see there, it latches exactly the way it's supposed to. Let's move on to the next door. All right guys, so now we're on our second door. If we have a look here, we try and close the door. It sounds like it went in, but it doesn't actually latch. So immediately when we look at this handle here, we can see that it's sitting on a bit of an angle. It's not sitting straight. So we're gonna go back to our first two things that I mentioned on the previous door. Number one was to look at the latch. Make sure it's coming out all the way. This one here doesn't look like it's coming out far enough, which could have something to do with the position of our handle here, which is restricting it. You can see there we've got a bit of play, nothing happens, and then the latch seems to come out. So first thing we're gonna do is adjust our handle here. That might adjust our latch and allow it to come out far enough to get into our strike plate. So once again, we're gonna take our pencil, mark up our position here, which I've already done. So you can see there, that is our position for the latch. And we're gonna have a look at our line up here and make sure it's going into the actual um, hole here on the latch. So you can see there, it is actually going in, but it's not going in far enough. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull apart this handle, straighten everything out, which hopefully should adjust our latch, allowing it to go into the strike plate. So with these locks here, personally, I don't really like them too much. Um, they come loose a lot of the times and homeowners can't repair it themselves because there's no visible screws. They're actually concealed behind these plates here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to pull this apart. Okay, so this one here is a privacy lock. We've got our little locking mechanism here, which isn't really working at the moment. And that's because the door handles aren't actually straight. So what we need to do is remove this locking feature here. In order to remove this, we just simply twist it anti-clockwise. So turn it to the left. And now we've got a little locking mechanism removed. That's gonna allow us to remove these cover plates. Now with these cover plates here, depending on the style or the brand, sometimes they're screwed on, so that means you have to twist them anti-clockwise once again. I generally like to just grab them by hand and pull them both off. Um, some of them have a rubber seal on the inside, so once again, it just takes a bit of pressure or a bit of force. Um, but if you have a look around the edges, of this little outer cap here. You'll find a little slot that you can put a flathead screwdriver in, and that's gonna allow you to pry that off. So I'll quickly show you guys what that looks like. You can see there's a little slot there. Being careful, you don't wanna damage the door, so um, just use a small little flathead screwdriver, and we're just gonna pop that cap off. So put it in the slot, pop that cap backwards, and you can see there that's now come off. And if you have a close look, a bit hard to tell on the camera, there's actually a rubber seal that goes all the way around here, and that's what creates such a tight seal on this. Do the same thing on the other side, because you'll notice here, we've got one screw on this side, and then the other screw is on the other side. So once again, pop that cap off. And now we can adjust our door handles. So we're gonna back off this screw here just a little bit. Do the same thing on the other side. And you can see there, I don't know if you, that you guys caught that on camera, but as the lock was actually on its side, I'll bring it in the closer a little, 
the camera a little bit closer for you guys. So you can see there, as the handle is fairly straight at the moment, the latch protrudes out a lot further than what it did when it was on an angle. I think originally it was sitting like this, which means the latch was um, not able to protrude all the way out. But once it's centered the way it's supposed to be, you can see there that functions a lot better. So we need to make sure that these handles here are straight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line everything up, make sure it's 100% straight, and we can actually see our latch here going back in and back out. Make sure that it's as straight as possible. Hold that in position, tighten up your screws. Same thing on the other side. Now we can put our caps back on. So we've got our outer cap on. We'll put the inside one on as well. We can take our little locking screw here, or our locking feature, thread that one there back on clockwise this time, so to the right. And now we can close the door and test it. All right guys, so now we're on our last door and what we've got here is a double door for the master bedroom. Okay, when we close this door here, it's not latching once again. So let's have a close look. Okay, once again, our handle's on a little bit of an angle here, but let's try and get this one here to protrude all the way out. And we're still having the same issue. So let's have a look at our latch uh, position. You can see the old markings or the rub markings here from the latch. This one here is the bottom of the latch, which means it's running to the center of our um, strike plate. And that means it's sitting just a little bit too high. You can see a slight rub mark up the top here where it's actually catching. Okay, so if I close the door now, What we've got is this one here, okay, is sitting just a little bit too high. So we've got two options. We either bring this one here down and or we can bring this one here up in order to line them up. So if we have a look at them, they're both side by side. This one here either needs to come down or this one here needs to come up. Now, I've seen a lot of people do some dodgy work in the past. What a lot of people like to do is just simply cut a little slot up on top here, move the strike plate up a bit higher, and that'll latch. But the issue with that is this is a brand new house, brand new doors, they're stained doors, and the last thing you want is to have an ugly finish on a brand new house, simply because you couldn't be bothered or you're feeling a little bit lazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the two doors themselves. Remembering this one here needs to either drop down a little bit, or this one here needs to come up a little bit. So if we have a look at our spacing on the side of the door here, We'll have a look and check for any inconsistencies. This one here, we're gonna follow the gap all the way down. And the gap here appears to be about the same all the way down from top to bottom. This appears to be about the same. So we're gonna move over to the next one. If we have a look here, the gap is a little bit wider up on top. And as we come down, you can see there, it's actually very, very narrow. So what that tells me is there's an issue with this left side door here. So what we're gonna do, open this one here up, get a little bit more light. And remembering we either had the option of taking the right door um, and dropping that down a little bit or bringing this door here up a little bit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at the hinges because we know the issue's coming from the left hand side more than likely because of our spacing on the side of the door jam and the door. If we have a look and put these two doors here side by side, if you have a look up on top, you can see this right door here is sitting higher than what this left door is. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna focus on this left door because this left door here needs to come up a little bit. The issue is all coming from this left door here. So we'll release our little locking mechanism, open up our door, and we'll have a quick look at our hinges. Remembering this door needs to go up a little bit and straight away, if I rub my finger up against this hinge here, you can see that it's not actually sitting recessed into the door jam, it's protruding a bit. And this here is more than likely what the issue is. So we'll run down to the other hinges. This one here is nice and flat. 
or flush. Same thing with the bottom. Our issue is all coming from this top hinge right here, simply because it's protruding out a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna align this one here up. You can see a bit of a gap up on top as well between the hinge and the rebated area. So what we need to do is just simply slide this door up just a touch. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you an awesome little trick that I try and keep to myself, but I'm gonna share it with you guys, and that is a way to lift the door and do all of this whole job on your own um, using a little pry bar. Basically what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna loosen off all the screws on the hinges on the door jam side, then we're gonna lift up the door just a little bit and then re-screw it back into its place um, so that it gets, sits into that rebated area the way it's supposed to. Now you'll notice I've got my pry bar here. It's got a little curved section on the front and we're gonna take advantage of this. This is gonna allow me to push that door up as I wanna screw it in. Now obviously I'm working on my own here. Um, so what we do is we slide the curved section underneath the door, which hopefully you guys will be able to see. We slide it just like that. Not sure if you guys can see there. I'll drop it down just a little bit. Okay, so I've got my pry bar down the bottom. Now what I do is I'm gonna loosen everything off here and then as the door wants to drop, I simply put my foot on the bottom of the pry bar and then we're gonna push it back up so that I can position it nicely. Especially with this door because it's a little bit heavy. So we're just gonna slightly back off these screws, not completely, just a little bit so that we've got enough wiggle room. Okay, so now we've got everything fairly loose. We're gonna push down on this pry bar, get it to pop that door up just a touch, and then we're gonna screw everything back in. Once we've got the weight um, taken off because we've screwed in these ones here, we can take the foot off our pry bar. And now remove our pry bar. So now we've got our hinge nicely installed, nice and flush with the door jam. That should hopefully have pushed the door back further in the way it was supposed to be. We'll now close this door here, lock it up and test out our door. And there we have it guys, problem solved once again. So there you have it guys, that's just how easy it is to repair doors that don't latch properly. I've shown you guys a variety of different reasons as to what could be causing it. Now hopefully you guys know what to look out for and you can get out there and give it a go yourself. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Check out my other videos, I'm sure they'll help you out. Until next time guys, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching, Bill's out too.